What is up, Fabrication Nation? Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Started this day off right. Threw some ribs on the grill. Gonna smoke those up. Poured me a beer. I mean, living the dream, right? Anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here today because I told you I was gonna bring you the CK Torch for the Fronius. CK Torch setup for the Fronius machine. Let me start off by giving you a little bit of background on why I'm even making this video. So as you guys know, or probably know, I'm a huge Fronius guy. Uh, I've got a partnership with them, got a bunch of the machines, really love technology, and they're really bursting onto the scene right now. A lot of buzz, a lot of buzz going around right now about the Fronius machines, the technology that is in these machines and what they can do. One of the largest hangups though that I've kind of heard from you know, people within the industry is the torch. Let me show you. All right, so this is the torch. This is a torch that comes with the Magic Wave 230i by Fronius, and it is a phenomenal piece. This torch is probably the uh, best torch I've ever seen made, as far as technology and just quality itself. I mean, this thing is, this thing is, uh, what's the word? It's like, it's like the iPhone of torches. I mean, when you got it in your hand, you can just feel, you can feel the difference, right? And it has all kinds of features too. You got a swivel head, so you can swivel this head on this thing 180 degrees. It's actually got a uh, head that can be taken out, so you can unplug it, and then just plug it back in. You're ready to go. The advantage to that is say you had an aluminum setup or a stainless setup, you could have two separate torch heads set up for two different processes, depending on what you're doing. You don't have to change the consumables or none of that stuff. You literally just pop it out, pop a new one in, and you're ready to go. You could also have lengthened torch heads. So if you needed to reach a place that you couldn't reach with a normal TIG torch head, you could do that with this one. So along with those features, on the back of this thing, you can actually adjust the amperage on this, or you could select pulse or just standard TIG with your finger. No need to have a pedal. If you're tied up in a roll bar or something like I have been in the past, you can literally adjust the amperage as you need it right here without crawling out, and then you can activate the torch itself or the machine itself with the switch. Now, I've done the Fronius commercials. I've done the Fronius videos already. No sense in doing all that again. I kind of wanted to show you this. It's a, great, it's a great piece, but this is the problem that some people have with it is the size. So it's not as light and nimble as a lot of people would want to have. Um, I've had this discussion with Fronius already several times. They are listening and they are working on it. They're actually coming out with another design that has a lot of these features in it uh, that may be a little more light and more nimble. But for some people, it's still a hang up. It's still an issue. It's still something that they don't want to uh, they don't want to venture out and spend the money on one of these machines not knowing if they're gonna like the torch or not. So, that's, that's, that's really why we're here. That's why we're here. So, before I jump straight into the CK setup, uh, in the past what I've done is I've kind of cannibalized one of the frontiest torches I've got and another torch and kind of combined them to make something that would work on this machine that's more Americanized, it's more standard, um, but also had all the Fronius fittings so it would work properly. So, so basically what I did is I took a Fronius torch, uh, cut the end of it off, very carefully, I might add, and then just merged it on a, another torch that I had. So this is a 25 foot standard style torch that you would normally see this is also, this is a number nine, so it's not water cooled. Um, just use the Fronius uh, gas through a DENS on this with the trigger, so I can use the trigger on this thing. And it worked awesome. The only thing is, is it's not water cooled, so I was kind of missing out on the advantages, advantages of the water cooled setup on this uh, Magic Wave. And I didn't really want to try there's one thing adapting one of these, it's just a gas cooled torch, but trying to mess with something that would be water cooled, I didn't know that I wanted to go there. But this is the cool thing. CK, if you're not familiar with CK, CK Worldwide, they make um, top of the line torch setups. 
makes an entire kit. They make kits for everything. Literally, you can find a CK torch to fit any machine you've got. This is really the best on the market. So if you want the best torches out there, uh, CK is gonna be the one that makes those. If you don't have a Fronius machine, I highly suggest you get it a CK torch uh, for whatever machine it is that you have. If you're running like a standard torch, a 17, or one of those big bulky torches, and you want to step down to something that's a little bit lighter, a little more nimble, maybe with a flex head, um, CK, CK is the brand you want to go with. So the thing that's awesome is CK has just come out with a complete adaptive torch kit for this machine. So they have an adapter that has the gas, uh, gas through dense connector for the Fronius machine. The part number actually has Fronius in it, I believe. So this thing is made specifically for this machine. And they make the quick disconnect adapters for the water cooler. So literally four part numbers, three part numbers. You got the, you got the torch itself, you got the dense connector, and you have the quick disconnects for the water cooler, and you're ready to go. You're in business. This particular torch setup here is the 20. So it's the smaller uh, water cooled version. I uh, went with the flex head and I also went with the super flex style torch, which actually gives you a lot more flex in the, in the cabling itself. And I went with the 25 foot version. I like, I like that length. It can kind of get me across the shop or around every, anywhere I need to be. So let's not waste any more time. We'll get this thing out of the box, kind of get it set up, plugged into this bad boy. And yeah, CK for the win. I do believe in protecting them, so I just got this case. I'm actually gonna zip this thing up around that, all those lines, kind of keep it protected. Um, you wanna kind of protect your investment. It's all right to get the case all nice and dirty and you step on and all that, but your nice new torch lines are nice and protected underneath it. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Kind of stretch this thing out, get the case on it, and then uh, we'll get it plugged in and get it working. So everything's together, got a cover on it, a 20 torch, and I actually uh, went ahead and threw a, a gas lens diffuser in here, got some tungsten. The only thing I've got left is we need to throw, throw a ferret cup on this bad boy. Ready to go. All right, guys, there you go. The CK torch conversion for the Fronius Magic Wave 230i. If you're not familiar with CK, they're really killing the aftermarket and the torch, TIG welding torch market, go check them out. Um, I will list all the part numbers for this, so if you have a Magic Wave or you're thinking about buying a Magic Wave and a CK upgrade, maybe something that you're interested in, I'll put all the part numbers in the description. You can go over to ArcZone, and I think ArcZone carries them all. You can go check it out and uh, buy them there. Uh, one little caveat to this is that be very uh, mindful of how you run your cabling on that thing, uh, especially on the water cooler hoses because this is the thing the magic wave itself has a sensor in there that basically monitors uh coolant pressure and if the pressure gets too high it'll throw up an air code 
The main reason for this is if there's an issue within the cooling system itself, it's gonna tell you there's an issue before your torch overheats and melts away. So on this particular setup, initially I had everything kind of zip tied together to make it nice and neat, and those zip ties just created enough restriction that it was giving me that error code. So yeah, just be mindful of that. The Fronius, it knows, it tracks that kind of stuff, and any kind of you know weaving or uh, I had somebody, a buddy of mine, actually braided his lines together and it caused it to throw that air code. So just be mindful of that, but other than that, you should be good to go. All right, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.